Hello Angel. Many doubt, however, that individual destiny, our achievements or failures, how we are perceived by others, and the impression we leave are linked to forces that escape our perception. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where, without ever having met someone, you feel that this person is not someone you would like to engage with, that their energy is heavy, somewhat dark, and your instinct already alerts you to keep your distance? Well, that invisible energy, imperceptible to the senses but detected by intuition, is known as aura, and it exerts a constant influence on our lives. Before we address ways to enhance your aura and make it impactful in your life, it is essential to understand what this aura really is. In a world that privileges materialistic science, it is easy to become skeptical about spiritualism, however, even science has been revising its initial paradigm, questioning the dogmas of the mechanical world. It is wise and prudent to consider the ancestral knowledge that still maintains its relevance today. Virtually all ancient civilizations incorporated this knowledge about the elements of nature into various aspects of life, often resulting in phenomena that defy the understanding of modern scientists. For example, traditional Chinese medicine explores the body's vital energies through meridians. According to this tradition, the body's vital energies flow through meridians, channels through which they circulate and sustain the individual's vitality and health. When these meridians become blocked, health deteriorates, and the individual may develop various physical and mental illnesses, facing periods of extreme difficulty and even misfortune. In general, Traditional Chinese medicine surprised the Western medical community upon its arrival in the West, due to the mysterious and highly effective nature of its methods. Another compelling evidence of these subtle energies of nature that radiate from us and influence our lives is Curlian photography. This photographic technique allows the capture of the energy emitted by an object or living being. Developed in the 1930s by Russian scientists Semyon and Valentina Kurlian, this technique was named after its creators. The aura is not just a spiritual concept but a natural phenomenon that we can direct to achieve more health, vigor, and control over our lives. The mysteries of subtle energies and their impact on our existence are elucidated by ancestral knowledge, which asserts that the interaction of these forces gives rise to natural phenomena. Our aura emerges as a determining factor for positive and negative events in our lives, acting as a magnet for similar energies. There is a plethora of reports that corroborate this idea. For example, those engaged in spiritual practices, such as meditation, often perceive the proximity of small and sensitive animals, such as cats. Furthermore, some children demonstrate a heightened sensitivity to people's auras. It is common to witness babies crying and becoming restless in the presence of individuals whose auras seem to carry weight, despite their pleasant appearance. On the other hand, the opposite is also observed, seemingly ordinary people who can elicit smiles from children and babies just with their presence. According to these traditions, a dense and charged aura can attract misfortunes such as bad luck, propensity for accidents, greater susceptibility to illnesses, and even material losses and poverty. On the other hand, those with a strong and healthy aura are perceived as more attractive, have an easier time captivating and persuading others, enjoy more success in romantic relationships, and achieve their goals more smoothly. It is due to these remarkable phenomena related to the presence of this energetic field that many individuals dedicate their lives to studying these phenomena, seeking to describe them scientifically. In the book, Becoming Supernatural, by Joe Dispenza, 
widely known for overcoming a debilitating condition through biopsychic energetic methods, the concept is presented that changes in internal states and meditative practices can effectively alter the electromagnetic field emanated by the heart. According to Dispenza, this is the key to curing various diseases and also to unraveling the secrets of intentional manifestation, where one can materialize feats that would otherwise be impossible. There is not a single action or part of our body that is not, at least in part, subject to electromagnetic influences, just as there is nothing that does not exert such influences on us. Every living being, every tangible matter, has its electrical charge, and we, as biopsychic energetic beings, are no exception. This implies that, beyond electromagnetic influences, we are subject to more subtle influences through which our energy circulates and flows. If we neglect these energy channels, we may find ourselves in precarious situations. A blocked and weakened aura reflects a vulnerable soul, susceptible to a myriad of dangers, including material risks, violence, accidents, illnesses, and misfortunes. According to certain traditions, our subtle body is always in interaction with the energies that govern cosmic movements. In other words, the energy responsible for the growth of plants can be absorbed by us through contact and other techniques of absorbing these energies. We are constantly nourishing ourselves with the forces that feed all natural processes. The absence of contact with these forces can result in the deterioration of someone's life. Taking care of our energy field is an ancestral and global practice. Now, we will address how to take care of our energy field or soul. It is crucial to keep in mind that the methods that help us achieve such energetic benefits are ancient knowledge, stemming from solid traditions throughout history. One of these practices universally recognized by various cultures, such as Hindus, Chinese, Tibetans, and many spiritual currents, is the combination of meditation, visualization, and breathing exercises. When practiced regularly, these exercises aim to align our intentions and our energy with what we desire and can achieve internally. Meditation goes beyond scientifically confirmed benefits such as reducing anxiety, stress, and other psychological and physiological conditions. It also influences various other dimensions of our being. The ancients taught us that breathing is the means by which we connect with the higher dimension and where we absorb cosmic energies, circulating them in our aura. Taking care of our breath, breathing correctly, with the tongue on the roof of the mouth and primarily using the abdomen, which expands and contracts on inhalation and exhalation, is fundamental. By exercising inner mastery and visualizing what we wish to manifest, mobilizing our imagination and intentions with the vital energy we can channel, we can align ourselves with our higher goals. This allows us to act spontaneously, effortlessly, knowing how to proceed and achieving our endeavors more easily and successfully. In addition to meditative practices, which are universal for caring for our subtle body, there are other principles to be observed in all areas of life to make our aura a powerful and effective instrument. Certain energetic phenomena, to which some individuals are extremely sensitive, can harm the aura, even in those who have no contact with these traditions or training to deal with such energies. These individuals, often called sensitive, naturally have a greater ability to perceive the effects the environment has on their aura. These people often find that when they enter places such as clubs, lodges, clinics, spaces of suffering, extravagant displays, addictive excesses, or where deceit and falsehoods occur, they sense an atmosphere charged with negative energy and melancholy. 
They experience profound discomfort being there and sense that something bad is about to happen if they persist in those environments, which often proves true. Thus, the first secret to aura health is to care for the places frequented and the behavior adopted in these spaces. It is essential to act prudently in relation to one's own actions and company, as one person's energetic issues can contaminate another's life, resulting in disastrous consequences. Recognizing one's own essence involves always being sincere with oneself, looking at one's own being with the same care given to the people we love, for when we observe ourselves without feeling the impulse to care, we are treating ourselves with disregard. Confident people are not so by nature, but because they have understood the power of staying aligned with their essence, without suppressing actions, desires, or positive aspirations. They allow their true nature to manifest and expand, attracting the world around them, without allowing malevolence to enter their path. That's why some people shape their destiny, while others become victims of it. Mastery of libido is another universal secret to creating such magnetism and realizing one's manifestation potential. In life, managing and controlling libido energy is one of the most remarkable skills a human being can develop. Generating another life from oneself, a life as complex as one's own, entirely distinct and independent, is an act of incredible magnitude. The energy known as libido, not only sexual but also the primal life force of mind and body, is one of the most powerful energies at our disposal. It has the power to create profoundly sacred things, including life itself. This creative force can be directed toward other purposes, creating such an intense field of attraction that people can feel an almost supernatural origin in what you emanate. This is evident in individuals with an extremely strong and attractive aura, sometimes even intimidating, who are capable of evoking intense sensations in us, such as shivers and a hypnotic fascination just with a look or when speaking. Many celebrities exemplify this. By watching their interviews, one can perceive the care dedicated to libido energy. Channeling these energies involves cultivating sexual impulses in a healthy and conscious way, free from harmful habits and negative behaviors. Allow these impulses to express themselves in creative ways, just as an alchemist transforms sexual energy into attraction. To do so, it is necessary to view life as stimulating, something that attracts us. It's essential to frequently feel for life the same passion that engulfs us when we are intensely attracted to someone. This attitude towards life tunes our creative energy with the energies around us, and this harmonization produces almost miraculous effects. Taking care of our aura requires constant spiritual attention, involving the power of rituals and the practice of herbal baths. Taking baths with mixtures of herbs and minerals, such as coarse salt, recognized in various religions for its ability to deeply purify spiritual energy, is associated with a routine of regular spiritual care. The energies of the sea, tides, and the moon have significant influence and can be utilized to purify our own energies. These rituals are known for their purifying properties. The use of certain minerals, such as gemstones, quartz crystals, or amethysts, to purify negative energies and treat incipient health problems, is mentioned in various mystical traditions, from alchemists to prominent figures like Saint Hildegard. Regarding nutrition and subtle energy, taking care of both body and soul is essential. Nourishing the body involves the practice of nutrition, which consists of providing the body with vital energy from plants and other foods. 
Regular fasting is particularly impactful on our vital energy. In addition to clearing negative cells from the body, fasting also purifies and tunes the energetic body, especially when combined with meditation. This practice constitutes the foundation of Eastern spirituality for millennia, as observed by ancient sages like King David, who recognized that certain chaotic influences can only be dissipated through fasting. On the other hand, caring for health through nutrition implies eating quality foods and approaching eating as a ritual of presence. Eating hastily or carelessly violates natural and cosmic laws, potentially harming health. Some special herbs, like rosemary, known in various traditions for its healthy properties, or green tea, which not only regulates blood sugar and aids in weight loss, but is also rich in yang energy, can contribute to longevity and well-being. It's important to pay attention to the feelings we cultivate. Often, we engage in activities that evoke feelings in us that, if not controlled, can affect our aura and consequently our lives. Listening to sad music can have a cathartic effect, but if these negative feelings dominate our lives, they can contaminate our energy field, predisposing us to similar experiences. In this way, a deeply saddened person will be more vulnerable to personal difficulties. Moreover, an excess of any human emotion can harm the health of meridians and trigger specific diseases. Therefore, the stability and regularity of all human emotions are of paramount importance. For example, Plato claimed that the overall health of a society can be assessed by the music its leaders offer, implying that an overload of music with negative symbolism can lead to problems. You can continue to enjoy such music, but it's wise to monitor the frequency and intensity with which you indulge in these feelings. If you notice you're overdoing it, it's advisable to step back and seek out music whose symbolism and energy are opposite to what you normally experience, in order to balance your aura. The importance of gratitude in life is left for the end, possibly being the most crucial recommendation of all, gratitude. Many have discussed, especially in more esoteric circles, how the practice of gratitude can influence the events surrounding us, with gratitude being an acceptance of the universe to continue nurturing us and granting us more blessings. However, gratitude transcends far beyond that, it is considerably more complex and beautiful than it initially seems. Gratitude is only feasible for human beings because, through their intelligence, they are capable of perceiving the divine reality that constitutes them, realizing the unity and almost perfect harmony among all things that exist, participating in a single higher world where all things converge towards transcendence. The German philosopher Schelling used to express that human intelligence, Consciousness is a process that nature took a long time to develop and that, from the beginning, was its ultimate goal because through human consciousness, which perceives nature and simultaneously is part of it, nature perceives itself. The practice of meditation goes beyond scientifically proven benefits, such as reducing anxiety, stress, and other psychological and physiological conditions. It also influences various other areas of our being. The ancients taught us that breathing is the process by which our being interacts with the higher principle and is where we absorb cosmic energies, circulating them in our aura. Care for the breath, breathing correctly, with the tongue on the roof of the mouth and mainly using the abdomen, which expands and contracts on inhalation and exhalation, is crucial. Through the exercise of internal control and visualization of what we wish to express, mobilizing our imagination and intentions with this vital energy that we can channel, we can direct ourselves toward our noblest goals. 
This allows us to act spontaneously, without conscious effort, knowing how to act and achieving much more ease and success in our endeavors. In addition to meditation techniques, which are common in maintaining our energetic body, there are other principles to follow in your life to strengthen your aura as a highly effective tool. Even those who are not familiar with these traditions and do not have training to deal with these energies can affect their aura, especially those who are extremely sensitive to these energetic phenomena. These are the people who are often called sensitive because they have a greater natural ability to perceive how the environment influences their aura. Often, these people describe negative sensations when entering places such as nightclubs, motels, hospitals, or places where there is suffering, excess, and harmful behaviors, or where lies and betrayals occur. They feel that these places are loaded with heavy and depressing energy, which makes them feel uncomfortable and sense that something bad may happen if they stay there for too long. And often, they are correct. Thus, the first secret to maintaining aura health is to take care of the environments you frequent and your behavior within them. It is crucial to be conscious of your actions and companions, as one person's energy issues can affect another's life, leading to disastrous consequences. Accepting your own essence is being true to yourself at all times, treating yourself with the same respect and care that we dedicate to the people we love. When we look at ourselves and do not feel the desire to take care of ourselves, we are disrespecting ourselves. Confident people are not just so by nature, but because they understand the power of staying true to their essence without repressing their actions, desires, or aspirations. They allow their true essence to expand and manifest, attracting positivity into their lives and not allowing malevolent influences to affect them. This is how some people control their destiny while others become victims of it. The power of libido is another universal secret to creating that magnetic attraction and reaching your full potential for manifestation. In life, Controlling and directing the energy of libido is one of the most impressive skills a person can develop. Generating another life, as complex as life itself, is a powerful manifestation of this vital energy. Libido is not just a sexual force, but rather the primal energy that drives our mind and body. It has the power to create sacred things, such as life itself, and can be channeled for other purposes, creating a field of attraction so intense it seems almost supernatural. We probably know people with an extremely strong and captivating aura, sometimes even intimidating, who evoke intense sensations in us with just a glance or words. This is the case with many celebrities, who meticulously care for their libido energy, Channeling this energy is simply cultivating sexual impulses in a healthy and conscious way, without allowing bad habits and harmful behaviors to contaminate it. Allow these impulses to express themselves creatively, just as an alchemist transforms sexual energy into attraction. For this, it is essential to view life as something pleasurable, something that attracts us. We need to feel for our own lives the same passion we feel when falling in love with someone. This attitude draws our creative energy to tune in with the environment around us, causing almost miraculous effects. Continuous spiritual care, rituals, and herbal baths are fundamental and universal practices for caring for our aura. Bathing with herbs and minerals like salt, especially coarse salt, known in various traditions as a spiritual purifier, is related to the continuous practice of caring for the spirit. The energy of the sea, 
The influence of the tides and lunar energy are powerful and can be used to purify our energies, rituals recognized for their cleansing properties. The use of certain minerals, such as gems, quartz crystals, or amethysts, to purify negative energies and treat early stages of illnesses, is documented by various mystics, from alchemists to prominent figures like Saint Hildegard. Regarding nutrition and subtle energy, nurturing the body and soul in general, considering nutrition as the art of providing our body with vital energy from plants, animals, and the like, there are two extremely important issues. Firstly, regular fasting has an extremely significant impact on our energetic reality. Fasting not only purifies cells with negative potential in our bodies but also cleans and filters the excesses and misalignments of our energetic body. Fasting, when combined with meditation, forms practically the entire basis of Eastern spirituality. This practice has been adopted for millennia. Ancient sages like King David recognized that certain disturbances, not understood as intelligent forces, but rather as chaotic forces, were only dissipated through fasting. Thus, it is a powerful tool in our favor. On the other hand, guidelines for maintaining health through nutrition and how this contributes to our spiritual well-being include consuming quality foods and approaching eating as a ritual, a practice of presence. When you interrupt your activities to eat, eat hastily, or neglect what you ingest, you are violating natural and cosmic laws, which can affect your health. There are certain special herbs that can be incorporated into daily routines, such as rosemary, recognized in various traditions, including Jewish sages, as an extremely beneficial tea that contributes to longevity. It is known to prolong the lives of many people up to 100 or 120 years old, just like green tea, which not only regulates blood sugar and aids in weight loss, but is also rich in yang, masculine, energy, promoting improvement in the mind, memory, libido, among other benefits. Be cautious of the emotions you nurture. Often, people engage in activities that evoke feelings in them, consciously or unconsciously, and if these feelings become predominant in their lives, they can alter the color and shape of their aura. This affects various aspects of their lives. It is common for people to seek out sad music for emotional catharsis, sometimes feeling sadder and other times relieved. Although this is not always harmful, a lifetime immersed in symbols of sadness, melancholy, hatred, or anger can contaminate and influence the energetic field, making the occurrence of similar events more likely. Thus, a very sad person will be more susceptible to negative experiences. Furthermore, excess of any human emotion can harm meridians and trigger specific illnesses. Therefore, stability and moderation of all human emotions are crucial. For example, Plato argued that the overall health of a society could be evaluated by the music rulers made available, indicating that an excess of music with negative symbolism could lead to problems. You can continue to listen to such music, but it is important to monitor the frequency and intensity of this emotional involvement. If you notice that you are overindulging, it is advisable to step back and seek out music with symbolism and energy opposite to what you tend to feel, to balance your aura. The importance of gratitude in life is a point I've saved for last, perhaps the most significant recommendation of all. Gratitude is something often discussed, especially in more esoteric circles, as a practice that can influence the events around us, as an act of receiving from the universe so that it continues to nurture us and grant more blessings. However, gratitude goes beyond that, 
being much more complex and beautiful than it appears at first glance. The ability to feel gratitude is unique to human beings, for through their intelligence, they can perceive the divine reality that permeates them, realizing the unity and almost perfect harmony among all things, participating in a single higher universe where all things converge towards transcendence. The German philosopher Schelling used to argue that human intelligence, consciousness, is a process that nature took a long time to develop, being its ultimate goal, for through human consciousness, which perceives and is part of nature at the same time, nature perceives itself. When nature perceives itself and loves what it sees, that love is reciprocated. However, when a person despises what they see and contaminates these absolutely miraculous gifts we receive with resentment and ingratitude, they are not only corrupting and destroying themselves, but also destroying everything that was created so that they could love. There is no energetic, psychological, or spiritual health without a profound sense of respect for life and gratitude. Therefore, practice gratitude, learn to observe and admire the things that happen in your life, sincerely thanking every day. Experience it for yourself and you will see how everything I am saying is true. Test it at your own risk and you will find that the only regret will be not having known all this from the beginning. Do you want to manifest the reality of your dreams and activate your spiritual DNA? There is a science-based technique that works for you to manifest your desires. Click on the link pinned in the comments here of this video and start your journey of pure transformation today.